to see the Prophet ﷺ. Um, the vision of the Prophet ﷺ is a bushra that somebody gets, or uh, it might be somebody else sees them for another person. Um, and the Prophet ﷺ's ru'ya is true. It's in Sahih Bukhari. Man ra'ani fi al-manami faqad ra'ani haqqa fi inna shaytan la yatasawwuru bi surati wa kama qan. Whoever sees me in, in a dream has seen me in truth because shaytan does not take my form. Um, and there's difference of opinion about exactly what that means. Ibn Sirin was of the opinion if the Prophet ﷺ did not have the qualities that he was known to have, his descriptions, um, then he, he, he rejected it as a true vision. Um, Sidi Abdullah wa Haji Ibrahim says that that's not really the preferred position. The preferred position is that if you do see the Prophet ﷺ in a dream and there's a clear indication that it was the Prophet and you feel that you're in the presence of the Prophet, then, then it is a true dream. If he has any, uh, uh, if, if there are characters or qualities that he has that are not uh, in his uh, description, then it's a deficiency that he is reflecting to you about your own self. In other words, um, if he was doing something or had some characteristic or quality that was inappropriate, then he's telling you that you're doing that. And so, because al-mu'min mir'at al-mu'min, the believer is a mirror of his believer. And the fact that it disturbs you in a dream means that, that it disturbs him. Because there is a hadith, which is a sound hadith uh, in Imam al-Bazar, which says that, uh, that amaru ummati aliyya. فَإِنْ رَأَيْتُ خَيْرَ حَمَتُ اللَّهُ وَإِنْ رَأَيْتُ غَيْرَ ذَلِكَ اسْتَغْفَرْتُ لَهُمْ That I, O Kamal Qad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, that the actions of my ummah are shown to me in my grave. And if I see good, then I praise Allah. And if I see other than that, then I ask forgiveness for them. And, and that's considered a sahih hadith, the senate of it. Uh, Shaykh al-Ghumari al-Siddiqi, great muhaddith of this age, said it's confirmed hadith. So, uh, and there's a difference of opinion. Does he see all everybody's individual actions or does he see the actions of his ummah as, a, as an ummah, like collective uh, qualities? And I think most say that it's collective, but there, there is an opinion that it actually sees uh, individual actions. So the point is, if he comes to you with something that disturbs you, then it means that he's disturbed by it about you, and he's letting you know that. So the other thing about seeing the Prophet in a dream, there's no hukum shar'i related to it. None. So, for example, there's a story of one of the muhaddithun was once giving a hadith, relating a hadith, uh, and this is one of the proofs they used to say that the Prophet can be seen in a waking state as well. And uh, the, 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 the man related a hadith, and, and a man in the circle said, the Prophet ﷺ didn't say that. And he said, how do you know? And he said, because uh, I saw him just now saying I didn't say that. And uh, uh, Sidi Abdul Aziz mentions in, in uh, uh, or Sheikh al-Mubarak mentions in al-Ibriz about Sidi Abdul Aziz al dabagh that one of the things that he used to do was he would ask him about hadith and he would say it's not a hadith even though he was illiterate. And, uh, and he would ask him, how do you know that? And he said, have you noticed how in the, in the summer when somebody talks there's no uh, vapors, but in the winter there's vapors. And he said, what I see when, when a hadith is being related is a nur coming out of the mouth. And if it's not a hadith, I don't see that nur. And so that's how he uh, could tell the difference. So, I mean, these are karamat of the awliya, which we believe in. Uh, right? karama, nafaha kalama. Imam uh, Ibrahim al laqani says in the Johara, Confirm for the awliya karamat. We believe in the miracles of the awliya. And whoever rejects them, reject him. So we believe in the, the karamat. But it's not something that any hukum shar'i can be based on. Is that I, you can't base a hukum shar'i on it. You can't put that, oh, this is the true position because I saw the Prophet in a dream. That's rejected by the ulama. Because you would get false claimants and people that said they saw the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam.